here with us uh, analysis Steve Schmidt Scripps News contributor and of course founder of the warning podcast and 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 newsletter I would imagine Steve you have a number of things to say <laughs> on on this matter um, I think by now we're kind of an unshockable country this one though still was like you have to be kidding me and there's something deeply disturbed I don't care who you like politically um, if if there's any semblance left of impartiality of our justice system and the one of the Supremes is flying a symbol of an insurrection in front of his house and then blamed it on his wife over a petty dispute with a neighbor what does it mean to you sir well good morning this is a very very big deal uh, the inappropriateness here is beyond outrageous it's really beyond my capacity to articulate I ran Samuel Alito's confirmation process as a deputy assistant to the president, counselor of the vice president uh, from the Bush White House. Uh, when he was confirmed at the exact moment, there's a picture of President Bush rubbing my head, uh, joking with me. Um, I was there for every second of his preparations. I know what he said in those rooms about his commitment to precedent. Uh, to Roe versus Wade, for example. Um, a federal judge uh, in America, we should never know what that person's politics are. They should be above partisanship, above politics. And Samuel Alito has repeatedly not been above politics. He wears his politics on his sleeve. And so this symbol, the inverted flag, an inverted flag is a symbol of distress on a ship in a military setting. It's a, it's a symbol of help. We need help. Now, it was co-opted after the January 6th insurrection and in that it would be flown from a flagstaff in front of a Supreme Court justice's house is outrageous. Now, after the story comes, the justice blames his wife but he does not renounce the act. He does not renounce the symbolism because in the end, that flag flying over his house doesn't mean that I'm sympathetic to your cause. What it meant for Samuel Alito with justice of the court is that I am of your cause. I am part of the insurrection. And so there are two justices on the Supreme Court who are implicated supporting a coup against the United States of America after an election. And this man will soon rule on whether the president of the United States has unlimited powers to, for example, assassinate the two of you up against the wall if he doesn't like what you have to say on a news report, for instance. That's the case that's being decided. And Samuel Alito must recuse himself from that case. Uh, this is a big deal, big deal. And everybody who's watching this across the country, I don't care. You're a Democrat, if you're a Republican, if you're to the left of Bernie Sanders or to the right of Ted Cruz, an independent judiciary above politics is elemental to the preservation of democracy, liberty, freedom in the world. Simple as that. Uh, Two-part question uh, before we let you go. What are the chances that he does recuse himself? And also, with this event happening, does that change at all how you think they will ultimately rule on that um, immunity case that they have to see? I, I think that um, he will not recuse himself. Uh, the, the Pope yesterday talked about in his interview his deep concern uh, with a group of conservative catholic bishops and samuel leto is involved with one of those bishops very deeply that bishop uh, bishop Barron, is uh is one of the leading uh, uh digital uh, prelates in the country if, if not the most uh with a with a very political with a very very political message He's deeply involved with a man named Leonard Leo, who's one of the leaders of an extremist movement in the country. And all of this together, there have been a lot of stories uh, demonstrate the ethical compromises 
fishing trips to Alaska with the donors, this person, Leonard, Leonard Leo there with them. Uh, the, the, the extremism project around the court is a billion dollar project running by these groups. Uh, Samuel Alito is almost certainly uh, the justice that leaked the decision to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, he has published really political pieces in the Wall Street Journal before. The Wall Street Journal just said that priest, that bishop I was talking about, is the most popular, powerful Catholic in the world outside of the Pope. So, so the totality of all of this, uh, you have a small group of people in Washington that are part of this very extreme movement project, and Samuel Alito is part of that. Uh, we have a big problem in the country because the Supreme Court and its authority comes from a type of moral authority, a type of legitimacy, where the final word is appreciated and understood as that. You must have legitimacy to deliver that, and the, and the court's legitimacy between Thomas and Alito has been severely compromised on these ethical matters that are grave issues for the country's stability. It is certainly something we all need to, to, to think about, not just in terms of this immunity case, but if this election is close and becomes legally contested, like in 2000, it could be back before this court, depending on what happens uh, in, in November. Uh, there's a lot at, at stake. It's, it's, it's a remarkable story, uh, at the very least. Um, Steve, I, I could talk to you the rest of the hour about this, our, our backs up against the clock, but thank you for uh, giving us some time on this Monday. We, as always, uh, we appreciate it. We'll see you again next week. My pleasure.